my favourite film of this year. I've seen three films this year that have moved me, really moved me in different ways. Um, in third place, I would put Control, which was the story of uh, Ian Curtis of Joy Division. Joy Division are a group who I really, really love. They're from my my part of the world, the northwest of England. Uh, I've worked in the town where Ian Curtis came from, and yeah, the fact that I love the love them so much. Ian commits suicide, has psychiatric problems, as I do myself. Yeah, that made a big impact on me. In second place, I would put um, the the future is unwritten. The uh, the film about Joe Strummer. Uh, the Clash are my favourite group. Um, I've met Joe Strummer. I've even made a YouTube video about meeting Joe. I thought he was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful man. Greatly missed. Um, and yeah, I thought it was a really great film. But my favourite film of the year, and it's not a film that came out this year, it's just a film that I've seen this year, is Sophie Scholl, The Final Days, definitely. Sophie Scholl, The Final Days is the true story of uh, a, a, a German student who was a peace campaigner in Nazi Germany with her brother and, uh, and friends in an organization called The White Rose. And she was distributing um, documents, asking people to, to resist the Nazis she was caught and she was executed in February 1943. And the Germans did not, the Nazis did not want to execute a, a, a girl. They wanted her to put, to put all the blame on her brother. But she chose, she insisted that she had been part of it. And I think when you think about that, it's just, it's just amazing. We rightly have respect for soldiers for, for being prepared to risk their lives. But this girl did more than just risk it. She, she was given the chance to be to live and she chose to die. And for that reason she is a, a national heroine in Germany and, and, and that is great that a country who did so much wrong between 1939 and 1945 it's great that they can have some some heroes from that era. And for, for that reason, I think that Sophie Scholl, The Final Days, is a, a very important film in the same way that Schindler's List is a very important film. So that's my, my film of the year. And if anyone gets the chance to see it, I think, I think they should. And if they only get the chance to see the, the trailer on YouTube, they, they should see that. But if I was back at university running a film society I would definitely show Sophie Scholl the final days because it's inspirational